My name is Bogdan Konko. I arrived in 15 of March 1982 from uh, Belgrade, but I'm Polish nationality. The challenges when we came to Australia, we, we have a very limited English. That was a challenge. But we, with help of friends and a uh, bit of a tape recorder, double tape recorder, <laughs> we manage, plus uh, uh, we have a tutor coming to once a week for three hours. We become friends. Sometimes he was coming even three times a week because he liked it with us. And so we learn. I try always be like free-spirited person. Uh, what I find here, that I find freedom of opportunity, that you can do whatever you want. Uh, for everybody in Australia, if they can uh, do the same what I was experiencing to the other refugees, like we have uh, now new friends from Sri Lanka. He called us yesterday that he get the And for how many years has he here? Seven years, or nearly 10 years. And he was separated from the family. And now he can bring them. I opened my, my business, I opened two years after I arrived. And until now I'm working for myself. So that is for me is freedom. You have to be, have to be, uh, everybody have a chance in life if you let them have a chance. My name is Loon and I'm from Myanmar and I belong to Zomi Ethnic City and I came to Australia in 2013 and I've been living in uh, Bayswater. When we arrived at the airport, uh, two case workers from Ains uh, came to pick us up and they were very nice and kind and very friendly to us and they you know, that made me feel very special uh, because we have never received such treatment from, you know, strangers. So, you know, we were very happy. People think that, you know, refugees are coming to Australia to um, get support from the government. So, you know, the, you know, people in Australia should understand that refugees are not a threat to, you know, Australians. They are here to, you know, get a new life and also they are here to contribute to the country. What I love uh, about living in uh, Bayswater uh, in Knox City Council area is that I like, you know, like uh, the restaurants and also the people because, you know, the people are minding their own business. They don't care about other people. And I can, you know, walk freely and, you know, I don't feel judged by anyone. Freedom means uh, to be able to vote for any government election. And after living in Australia for 10 years. I got my citizenship and I got a chance to vote for the first time ever in my life. And it was the most exciting, you know, part of my life. And also, um, you know, I feel a sense of freedom, complete freedom. So my name is Mohsen. I'm 48 years old. I come from Iran. Uh, I got a family with three kids. And uh, for four years, I'm living in French Guardian. بزرگترین چالش وقتی که ما وارد استرالیا شدیم در ابتدا اون یک ماه اول در مورد اینکه کسی ما رو توجیه نکرده بود و واقعا نمیدونیم نمیدونستیم که چقدر سخته به قدری برای ما سخت بود که واقعا در همون یک ماه اول آرزو کردیم برگردیم به اونجایی که ازش اومدیم یکی از بزرگترین چلنج و مشکلات که واقعا برای یک پناهنده یا یه ریفیوجی اینجا هست پیدا کردن و اسکان پیدا کردن نشه ما از اینکه اومده بودیم جایی که واقعا میدونستیم که کشور استرالیا ما رو پذیرفته و باید اینجا زندگی کنیم خیلی خوشحال بوده و وقتی که من مقایسه بکنم استرالیا رو با ایران واقعا فاصله بین زمین تا آسمون دارن از نظر آزادی بیان و فریدان 
و واقعا خدا رو شکر میکنم من که به عنوان یه مهاجر از یه کشور دیگه اومدم اینجا حق آزادی بیان دارم و حتی در مورد مذهب چون من از یه بکراند دیگه اومدم و واقعا اینجا آزادم اون جور که واقعا خدا به من نشون داده خداوندم رو پرستش کنم